I found the top 10 easiest remote jobs, and these are gonna be jobs that are easy to get into, easy to start, and in many cases, also easy to do as well. And I'm gonna be giving all of them an opportunity score from one to 10 based on how easy they are in the different areas. And the first one is going to be a wing VA for wingassistant.com. And this is a website that focuses on hiring virtual assistants for small to medium sized businesses. And they hire for positions like digital marketing assistant, virtual assistant, or customer service representative. Now, one of the reasons why I picked this company is because they have a very good reputation on Glassdoor, a 4.3 star rating, and 83% of the employees say that they would recommend it to a friend. And as a virtual assistant, you get paid about $46,000 a year. So here is an opportunity. I'll put it up on the screen for you. So this one is relatively easy to get into, relatively easy to do. So for that reason, I'll give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is going to be an online notary. Now there's several different ways you could do this while still working from home or working remote. The first way is being a 100% online notary where you basically just notarize things over the internet. And then the second way is being a notary where people have to come to you. By the way, a notary is basically a professional who's authorized to make sure that documents are legal and official. So for instance, you might witness the transfer of a deed for a house yeah. from one person to another, and then you would document that it happened and give your stamp of authorization. Now, one great website you could use to get started with this is onenotary.us. Now, there is a process to become an online notary with this website. You have to first, of course, meet the state requirements, which are going to be different in every state. Then you have to ensure your practice. Then you have to complete a training. Then you get a digital certificate and an e-notary seal. Then you would choose a provider for identity proofing and credential analysis. And then you would submit your application form via the Secretary of State's website. So is that a bit of a process and is it going to take a bit of work? Yes, but the reason I still like this career and why I think it's one of the easier ones is because it's incredibly passive. You basically just wait for someone to need a notary and you're just there whenever they need you. And this is a great way to make a little bit of extra money on the side, or you can do this full time if you'd like to. And online notaries make about $55,000 a year. Now here's a few companies that are currently hiring. I'll let you pause the video if you want to check those out. So overall, pretty solid one that is a bit of a process to get into it, but once you're in, you're pretty much good to go. I'll give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is going to be a patient scheduler, and you're going to be responsible for managing and coordinating appointments for healthcare providers. And patient schedulers make about $41,000 a year. And this is one of those positions that typically do require a bit of training, but usually the company that hires you will provide that training. And you basically don't have to have any skills, any previous experience, any college degree, basically nothing. So that's why this one is on the list because honestly, it doesn't require much to get into it. Now, here's a few companies that are currently hiring. So overall, I'll give this one an opportunity score of seven out of 10. The next one on the list is going to be another healthcare related career, and that's going to be a billing coordinator. And as a side note, there's a ton of different random healthcare related careers that are relatively good paying, at least for the amount of education and training that you have to have. They're also easy to get into, and they're incredibly stable. And this is one of them. So here is an opportunity. I'll put it up on the screen for you. Now, I will say with some of these healthcare related positions, they are remote, but you do have to be within the state. So make sure you check that out whenever you're looking at the job postings. And by the way, this position is responsible for managing and organizing the billing process in healthcare. So basically, you're going to be putting the right services and treatments that you gave to the patient and making sure that the patient got billed for the right amount. And billing coordinators make about $46,000 a year. Now, this is another one where you're typically going to need some training, but most of the time, the company that hires you will provide that training. And it's relatively easy to land these positions. You don't need any previous experience, skills, a college degree, or anything like that. So I'll give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is going to be a professional review writer. And basically, you're going to be crafting informative reviews to help consumers make informed decisions. So you're basically getting paid to test out products and then write reviews about them. Now, there's many different ways to make money doing this. And it ranges from kind of just doing individual reviews where you just review one single product and it's just kind of a one-off thing. Maybe you get paid 100 bucks to do it, all the way to being a professional writer that reviews things and then makes blog posts for a living. But review writers in general make about $58,000 a year. Oh, and another thing about this is it's pretty good for starting your own business as well. A lot of people start affiliate marketing related businesses where they just review products and they put them up on a blog and maybe on YouTube as well. And Amazon actually just started a program where they have people review Amazon products and make videos about them and they get a small commission every single time someone watches the video and then buys the product. Now here's a few companies that are currently hiring. So there's 
a lot of different ways to make money with this, ranging all the way from a tiny little side hustle where you just do it once a month to owning your own business. But yeah, I think this is a really good one. I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is going to be a social media planner. And basically you're gonna be responsible for creating and executing social media strategies for online brands. And social media planners make about $59,000 a year. So here is an opportunity. I'll put it up on the screen for you. So this is a type of digital marketing and that's something I've talked about many times on this channel. Digital marketing is one of those careers where it will never be good when it comes to college because colleges are always gonna be teaching the stuff that worked five to 10 years ago, but don't work right now. And for that reason, the smartest way to get into digital marketing is not by going to college, it's by learning the skills that are working right now and then getting yourself a job. And you definitely do not need a college degree or previous experience to get into this role. And I've interviewed a bunch of different people on this channel that have been able to land jobs in digital marketing. And they all took my friend Seth's course. Seth has probably made more digital marketers than any other human being on the planet. And he does have a free masterclass, which you can check out. I'll put it down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. So overall, I will say this is one of those careers where you don't need to have a lot of previous experience or a college degree to get into it. You do need to learn the skills, which can be relatively easily learned online. You do need to build a portfolio to showcase that you have those skills. But once you're able to land the job, this is one of those jobs where a ton of people have told me that they have high levels of job satisfaction. And also, if for whatever reason you don't like the first digital marketing job you get, there's lots of different ways to move around. So it's very flexible. So overall, I'll give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is going to be a data coordinator. And this is one of the many different data related careers. And there's so many different ones out there. And yes, I know, I think it's technically data, but I say data. And basically you're gonna be responsible for helping to manage and organize data that is collected by a company. Now here's a few companies that are currently hiring. And this is one of the easiest data related positions for you to land, especially if you don't have any previous experience or a college degree. And it pays about $48,000 a year. Now that may not seem very much, right? This is a technology related skill. It's in data. It should pay a lot more than that. But you also have to realize there's a lot of other positions that you can move into after you've gotten a few years of experience here. So this is a relatively easy one to land. You're also going to have a super stable job because data just pays extremely well and people are always hiring for it. So I'll give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. And the next one is going to be a vacation or travel coordinator. And this is basically a position where you're going to be responsible for organizing travel itineraries, booking accommodations, arranging transportation, and ensuring a seamless and unforgettable vacation experience for your clients. And a lot of the time you're going to be working for a travel agency, but this is one where if you get some experience, you can become a travel agent yourself. And then you would make even more money down the line. Now, this one is especially good if you either live in a place or you have knowledge of a place that's a popular travel destination. And like I said, it's super easy to get into, doesn't require any skills, previous experience, etc. but it does help if you live in a place like that. And travel coordinators make about $49,000 a year. Now, here's a few companies that are currently hiring. So overall, I'll give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is going to be a play tester. So this is one where you literally get paid to play test video games. And typically, these are going to be video games that haven't even hit the market yet. And there's a ton of different ways you can do this. You can get paid on a one off basis where you basically just play test a game, maybe you get paid 20 to $50. And then you can also be a professional play tester as well. One place you could get started with this is riotgames.com and specifically the play testing part of their website. And play testing is incredibly important when it comes to the success of the game, not only to make sure there's not a bunch of bugs and problems with the game, but also just to make sure that it's fun in general. And here is an opportunity. I'll put it up on the screen. You can check it out. And play testers make about $46,000 a year. Now, this one is a bit harder to get into if you want to do it full time, but it's very easy to make a little bit of extra money on the side with. So overall, I'll give it an opportunity score of seven out of 10. And the next one is probably going to surprise you, but it's being a virtual friend. And there's actually a ton of different websites out there where you can be someone's virtual friend. And again, this one ranges from just making a few extra bucks for weekend beer money all the way to doing this full time professionally. And in this world where everyone is becoming more and more lonely, this is a more and more valuable service. And one website you could get started with is friendpc.com. And you definitely don't need to have any previous experience, a college degree, any skills or anything like that, other than being a good listener and being a good conversationalist. Now, here's a few companies that are currently hiring. So overall, I'll give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Now, by the way, if you like this video, I did make one on the 17 work from home job companies that are almost always hiring. And you can check that out by clicking right here.